In this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure Amazon Route 53 to be the DNS server for a domain that you registered somewhere else. And I'm also going to show you how you can configure AWS Route 53 to point a subdomain at an application load balancer that you've previously deployed. So the first thing that I'm going to assume is that you already have a domain registered somewhere else. I chose Namecheap because it allows very cheap domains for the this, this for this video and um, you could have AWS manage your domain as well if you wanted to but let's go to route 53 and let's get started with DNS management and Amazon calls uh, DNS setup for domains uh, hosted zone so let's create a new hosted zone for the domain I've registered. And the domain I've picked is called awsvideos.win. And I used .win just because it was a cheap domain. And now what you need to do here, if you have your domain uh, registered at a different provider, you need to copy these name server records over to your domain uh, registrar. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. Uh, this is in Namecheap. So I can configure the name servers not to use Namecheaps, but instead to use a custom DNS, which will be Amazon's custom DNS. It provides all of these extra name servers just for redundancy in case the main.com, .dot .net uh, domains go down. Uh, it's unlikely, but it's uh, an advantage of using AWS for your name server. So let's save that. And it says it'll take 48 hours, but it probably won't take that long. I can show you how to use the command like dig to check to see when it has switched over. So. Let's try this, dig, and our everything is AWS videos.win, and we're looking for the name server records. And here you can see that the name server is still registrarservers.com, and that happens to be name, uh, Namecheap's DNS server. So it's not moved over yet, uh, but it will be. And In the meantime, we can go ahead and start configuring AWS to point at the application load balancer. So let's switch back to Amazon. And to configure the uh, to configure the record for uh, the subdomain we'd like, we need to get the application load balancer uh, DNS name, and you can do that through the EC2 section of the AWS console. If you scroll down to load balancers, and here, this is an application load balancer that I deployed in a previous video that just serves Hello World a Docker container. But what we're interested in here is this DNS name. So we're going to copy this DNS name and then go back to Route 53. Let's go back to our hosted zone. And let's add a new record for the subdomain we want. And our subdomain will be hello to match our hello world app. And we want to have it make it a C name, which just says um, point at an existing DNS name that's not quite as nice. And we can create it. Now you'll have a CNAME, hello.awsvideos.win. Now this domain isn't going to work until the DNS servers, the global DNS servers, have switched over to using Amazon for our registrar. And we can keep an eye on it with the dig command I showed you before. Okay, I've let some time go by and 
let's see if the uh, global DNS servers have picked up our new name servers at Amazon. We can do that uh, get again with dig. So we'll do dig AWS videos dot win. We'll look at the name servers. And there you go. You can see the Amazon name servers are, are showing up now. And because we already prepped our ALB to be the hello domain, we should be able to uh, do a lookup of that too. So we'll do dig hello AWS videos dot win. And you can see that it's pointing at our ELB. And that's great. So we should be able to use curl to test to see that it's hitting our hello service. So we'll do curl hello, oops, hello, AWS videos dot win. And it's still port 4000. And there you go. Hello world. So you've got a service running in Amazon, in our case, a Docker container and AWS is hosting the DNS records and it has a subdomain pointing at an ALB.